I can believe that too. Let's do a boss swap. Ooh, that's a cool one. Astrolabe. Let's do two strikes, one defense. We get Barricade, Flame Barrier, Hemokinesis. What an interesting set of three starting cards. I like it. Is that strong enough to fight the Burning Elite? Let's consider it. That's some very good cards after all. Yeah, Barricade this early is definitely something we can build around, which is quite nice. I'm going to grab an early True Grit as well to go with this barricade. And we're going to spin the wheel. Oh. Price has been paid. Did the odds of the wheel spin change? Nope. You're in just infusing your own bias. If you observe anything other than that. Try not to. Grab a pommel. Definitely want a little bit more damage. Hit points aren't exactly easy to come by when you give up the burning blood. Sixteen is already a full block. I like it. The wheel outcomes get worse after certain ascensions, though? No, the wheel is actually unchanged. The amount of gold you get does vary on which act you're in. But I don't believe the penalty ever changes. Stop. What do you got, buddy? A gremlin visage. We start each combat with one week. That's not ideal. Also not necessarily the worst thing. So it's pretty bad here. That's a great time to distill chaos. Flame barrier defend barricade. You love to see it. Give me flame barrier back. Should be pretty safe now in this fight. Gonna headbutt Flame Barrier. I'm not gonna bother with Hemokinesis here. I don't think we need it. We did need it. Bummer. That's too late. Foolish. Okay. 35 health out of this fight is pretty good. Get a prayer wheel, meaning we have more options for card rewards from normal enemies. A bit odd. Do I want to rage? Not exactly. Can I fight the Burning Elite with this deck? Not not really. I think Gremlin Up kills us, right? Oh well. If killing if being killed is my fate, I welcome it with open arms. I guess that makes Iron Wave pretty good. 
if we're worried about Kremlin knobs specifically here. Um, but I'd rather upgrade Bash than Iron Wave. Is that true? I think that is true. Okay. So we'll fight Kremlin knob with the upgraded Bash. It's not even Kremlin knob, it's Lagavulin. Even better, because we can set up Barricade here. Perfect. Wake up. We'll have to play Hemokinesis at least a couple of times here, too. Although, Headbutting Flame Barrier might be better here. Let's just keep playing Flame Barrier. And now we play the Bash. Good turn. And bash. Uh, just headbutt a card to go alongside Hemokinesis. Although we'll have minus four strength. Let's headbutt the bash. Hemo is going to deal 16, goes to 24. Yeah, bash Hemo kills. So we're there. Iron Wave does one damage. Boot Thingy goes well with Barricade. Dupe Pot goes well with things that go well with, with Barricade. Disarm goes well with Barricade, too. As does Burning Pack, but I like Disarm more here to remove strength from an enemy, especially Hexaghost. And Nib can double the damage of every tenth attack. And I feel like we're good to go to a shop here. I think we're good. Yeah. Figured he might go for the third for the third attack. Thus the headbutting of the flame barrier. Good fight. Corruption versus Shockwave. Okay. This time I think I'm going to take the Shockwave. We've already got a big expensive power. And Barricade often enjoys not exhausting all your cards. Unless you want specific cards like Body Slam or something. Wow. Membership card into 40 gold offering. Deal. All right, good talk. Good talk. That makes the Ali a lot less threatening. x spots fun, too, actually. I'm not afraid of you. Although maybe I should be, because I'm weak on turn one. Now nah, we just play Hemokinesis and he instantly dies. Yeah, we don't need to overthink this. We just pen nib Hemo here. It is exactly 60 damage. So we can full block here. Sixty. Score ourselves a ceramic fish. Nine gold when we add a card to the deck, which is getting multiplied by two, basically. And we have an entrench. Oh my. This ought to be interesting. Entrench with headbutt with barricade. Definitely a game-winning combo. Question is, though, just like last time, can we actually survive long enough? 
to make that combo work? To which the answer is, I don't know. I don't know if we can do that. Strike Juggernaut? Juggernaut's hilarious. Get in here, Juggernaut. Cool. The power. We upgrade this now? I think so. Although upgrading in trench is also very reasonable. This is upgrading Disarm. They'll have to be able to kill Hexaghost here. Locking's not the only thing. Hmm. Good. Excellent. Okay. Does so much damage. I don't think we need to deck spot, but we should at least think about it for a half second here. I don't think so. With minus two strength. as good as doubling my block is anyway. That's fine. Order. Doesn't matter. Okay, that's 60. We should do 60. 60's good. Sixty is really good. We live Inferno no matter what, with 61 block accumulated. Flame Barrier, sadly, <clears throat> but Shockwave is here. We take only 18 damage, still plenty of block left. <laughs> You're thinking of a Bludgeon, Jotunborn. The good old Bludge. Leave through Hexaghost relatively easily. We're offered another offering. Kind of hard to sustain with no healing, but probably still worth it because this is a barricade and trench deck. So the faster we can set up the barricade and trench thing, the more quickly we become invulnerable during fights. Exhum is also not bad. It could be effectively another offering, but it could also be Shockwave or something. I think I'd rather just take the second offering directly, though. And I'll take Fear Pot. Coffee Dripper, we could go again with Coffee Dripper. We could take more card draw with Runic Cube. Or we can sacrifice upgrades with the Fusion Hammer. I'm not sure I dare Dripper this time. Not being able to upgrade in Trench is a little sad, though. Deck does do better with upgrades. I think the Dripper's a little too dangerous this time, though. Let's take the Fusion Hammer. We can be relatively likely to get an Apotheosis, thanks to the membership card, too. We can fight five Elites this act, if we really want to. I'm not sure I'm that ambitious, but we'll see how things go at the start here. 
Take a couple events. I like it. Although, what if? What if no block? On the turn you need it. What then? Sounds like a bad time. Sounds like a really bad time. Great. This is decidedly not what I wanted. Lots of upgraded cards will be offered to us thanks to the prayer wheel. Havoc Plus. Could destroy our entrench, but I kind of like it. Works with Headbutt to do fun things. We're going to try it out. We're going to give it a shot. I can just do Bash and Trench, take one, or I can play the Iron Wave, take zero. But then I don't get to Bash. I'll Bash. Bash is good. Didn't need that entrench, huh? I don't have the juggernaut, uh, the barricade down yet. Perfect. Some fights we never need the barricade. More of a luxury than anything. Fire. Fiend Fire kind of slaps with two offerings, in a way. In a way. Eh. Health is trending down? Of course it is. We have literally zero healing. There's no way for it to go up. Or is there? Remove all the strikes, obtain five bites, and gain 45 gold with membership card. You know what? Let's try it. I actually really like bites with barricade because we can sit behind an unlimited amount of block and just bite our way to full health here. I think that's actually quite good. Bite your way to freedom. Right. That is right. Go you health trending downwards. Skipping Bash and a few other cards there, because we're trying to get the most bites possible here. 
I think I also want Pendib on 9, right? Yeah, it might be an Elite next. Perfect. Upgraded True Grit, welcome. Unupgraded True Grit, not welcome. I think this one, though. All right, 267 gold with membership card for this shop seems encouraging. We're offered a Dark Embrace and a bottle for the Dark Embrace. Seems good. Um, and I'll remove a card. Now we can do five elites, surely. Surely. Lose Hemo. Although that's actually decent damage. I think Collector, don't lose Hemo. Lose one bite. Yeah, lose one bite. We're one body slam away from greatness at this point, I'm pretty sure. Nice bash. Okay, this is a good example of Hemo being probably worth it. This fight's quite tough. Especially with this pattern. Especially with this pattern. True good as well. I gotta say, Flame Barrier is putting in the work here. Gambling chip. We can discard any number of cards on turn one, making our turn ones far more reliable. We're offered another Dark Embrace. Hmm. I don't think I want that one, do I? I don't think so. You know, these rest sites just became useless, too. Let's skip. Yeah, I would take another upgraded one. I think that'd be a lot better. Indeed, five, four energy is not enough to play more of those. Not really. I don't even think I play this one. I have more important, immediate concerns here. Oh, that's a real bummer. The Gremlin Visage preventing this Hemokinesis from being a kill. Feels really bad. Oh, well. No, it goes. Could have dupe potted to get a kill, but we weren't taking damage anyway, so whatever. Where's shovel when you need it? Exactly. I headbutt Hemo, actually. Calls for some self damage. Ball bank. Gold every floor until we spend money at a store. That's great news with the membership card. Another upgraded Havoc? I don't think I want two of these. Two of those seems like overkill. It's in the box. It's more max health, and we're very low on max health, so I'll take Strawberry quite happily, actually. Our second elite, or is this third elite? 
Book of Stabbing again. This must be third elite. Has to be. Just has to be. No juggernaut Shockwave. That looks good. What proportion would I attribute to pure random chance to complete a 20 strength? Ooh. Good question. I think it'd be pretty hard to put an exact number on it. Very good question. No idea. Not not more than 50% luck. Probably a lot less than that, actually. More like 80 to 90% skill, 10 to 20% luck. Would be my guess. Hmm. Not weak anymore, huh? Hmm. That's fine. Juggernaut is here. To save our bacon. Nice. Get Akabeko making the first attack do eight more damage. And one more burning pact if we want to boil the deck down further. Let's do that. I'm sure hoping we're finding a body slam. Wait a minute. Oh, bummer. Um, rip this maw bank, I guess. Jeez. Too many good things here. Yeah, apotheosis, feel no pain. I want the abacus, personally. Every time we shuffle our draw pile, gain six block. Very powerful with a deck like this. So I'm going to buy that, too. Seems good. Bob Bank did exactly what it needed to here. Allow me to buy the abacus. With our 36 extra gold. Smooth stone better? I don't think so. Better than abacus? You crazy, Twishet. No way. That's such a good turn one. All right, tell me what I got. Colorless potion. All right, fine. Uh-oh. Well, that was no good. Hmm. This is no use in barricade, then. Good luck to me. I'm getting attacked next turn, whether I like it or not, for a lot of damage. And I'm frail and stuff. But I have answers, fear not. And they said Abacus would never do anything. The fools. Good turn. Jeopardy, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the cozy sub club. Only time for that to do something as well. We're not done yet. Oh, aren't you? Aren't 
aren't you? Nice fight. We get Thread and Needle making our Barricade and our Juggernaut way better because we now have four plated armor, another separate instance of block, and another Barricade if we want one, which I don't think we do want two Barricades. Doesn't seem quite right. Let's fight one more Elite instead. We want Arma? No, because we have Apotheosis. We don't need Armaments. We can upgrade everything at the same time. Here, Ranwood, have a Strength Potion. Healing Parched, he says. We get a Regal Pillow for more healing on rest sites. We actually get to use it this time. Although, will it help is a different question. Hmm. Let's see. No. YOLO. Good hit. No barricade yet? Play this again. And then the Abacus came in clutch. For all that, we get a Preserved Insect. Enemies in elite rooms are a bit easier to kill. And we get to rest to full health here. For the collector fight. Might as well. So we go into collector with 59 max HP. And a pretty acceptable turn one, if you ask me. I don't foresee any difficulty with this fight at all, really. I think collector should be pretty easy overall. Just got to get the barricade down, along with some block. That's easy enough when we can feel no pain, flame barrier, and trench. Just block for 40, easy peasy. Actually, more than that. Redraw the flame barrier, do it all again. Beautiful. And our block just grows and grows, and we're invincible. All we have to do is play in trench repeatedly. It's not hard. G collector. The entrenches would be too many for a deck like this. I think we probably don't need more than three.
Yeah, more than three sounds like too many. How many corruptions does our Dark Embrace deck want? I think it wants at least one. Get in here, corruption. Oh, and we have Sneko Eye. Let's freaking go. Wait, do we want Sneko Eye? I think we do. Means things get weird at the end. I'll take it. Doesn't corruption ruin the entrench? Yes, it does. But it makes the abacus infinitely powerful. So it's a win-win. That shop. Yeah, we also don't have to play Corruption in every fight. So if we don't want to, then we don't have to. But as you'll be able to see in most fights, it's well worth it. Yeah. Who cares if the entrench is ruined, right? We just draw and play the whole deck. Take that. And yeah, one entrench is going to be all we need for most fights. Although not all of them. But like I said, we don't have to play the corruption. If we don't want to. strength. Four hundred and twelve gold for the red mask? No way. No way. Not today. Not on my watch. He wanted to play that Hemo. Oh well. Take a little bit. Nothing I can't get back.
Spenny with the Prime sub in the four months. Want to sub every month, but you're more of a YouTube guy. That's all right. Watch it on YouTube is still supporting. And if you want to uh, get some of the benefits of subscribing via YouTube, then you can sign up for a YouTube membership to the channel, which is like a sub, but for YouTube. and immolate, not us. One more of these. With the Sneko Eye. Hmm. Can I kill the transients? Good question. maybe. I guess we're only doing about 100 damage per turn. Not that great in the grand scheme of things. So much juggernaut power. Too good. See you later, transient. Other flame barrier? Probably. Especially with Sneko Eye. A disarm plus? Definitely. Let's take both of those. Even better blockification. This is going well. Giant Head will surely be destroyed by our incredible deck. Surely. Let's do this to start. All about getting the powers down. Yep. Yeah, let's 
Plenty of block, for sure. Kind of suck now, but that's fine because we're winning anyway. <clears throat> Good work, Juggernaut. Entrench number two. Let's go. Now we're even entrenchier. But body slam still a wall here. So it goes. Two entrenches means we're even less likely to need to not play corruption. We can just more easily go to a million billion block. Plus, I think two of those seems like a good idea, actually. Why is Vinnie Jones the Ironclad's favorite actor? Because he's the juggernaut, Baylor. Heck yeah, I'll take another pummel. It's no wheel kick plus, but oh well. Three cost dark embraces. I've got to stop though. Actually, wait. Headbutt. Havoc. The power. All right. Good turn. Even better turn. Energy on turn one helps a bit. Shrug it off plus definitely helps a bit. Good block card. Blue key is required. More than helps a bit. We have loads of money for this shop with membership card. We can buy anything we want, including body slam, prismatic shard, and removing hemokinesis. Seems pretty good. We need Paper Frog? I don't think so. I think we can just go to the next shop in Act 4. Prismatic Shard Prayer Wheel, the combo. We'll get a few card rewards. We'll get a few. Cheap Metallicize for more Juggernauting? Ah. Uh, nah. There's no need for that. There is a need to fight these nerds and destroy them most thoroughly. There we go.
There we go. fight. Got a Dubu doll, plus a lot of money, plus one strength. Footwork? Footwork. Barricade footwork. Okay. Not a bad genetic either, for similar reasons, but we're a bit late in the run. So let's take the footwork. That's great. Never had a barricade deck with footwork. Now we need after image. That's right. That's correct. Spirit Shield. Gain block for each card in hand. Crescendo. Enter Wrath. Deal and receive double damage. I don't think we need to do that because we're going to be hitting for a thousand anyway. Take the Spirit Shield, though. Yeah, we don't need Crescendo. Double block. <laughs> double your damage, double your block. Double your fun. Double your slam. Double it twice, in fact. The boots. The core surge? I don't think so. Ropple Stalker, thanks for the 14 months of support. The year plus plus. Plus. Double apotheosis. I like discovery. One apotheosis is fine. Does Souvenir cancel out Sneko? It does not. It is impossible to prevent Sneko Eye from confusing you. Although you can remove the confusion after the fact. That one's allowed. Hmm. Yeah, we'll play Apo. Nice. 
Hmm. Awkward. Fine. No one said playing powers would be easy. It's not easy all the time. Is that enough block? I hope so. That was a double abacus proc at the start of the turn? That's ridiculous. Ridiculous, I say. Uh-oh. Hmm. An expensive turn. Shockwave. Be back for those powers. <clears throat> to lose some of this block, but we can always get a lot more. Not too, too, too worried here. There we go. Headbutt, barricade. See if we can go to full health for Act 4, though. Could even try to set up Pen Nib, but I don't really want to. Good enough. Please enjoy your body slam for uh, 634 damage. Be gone. Do we have to rest anyway? That's probably true, actually. Deal 2941. Have I been here before?
I have. Yeah, we have to rest. So that kind of was a waste. It's true. <laughs> Mummy hand seems good. Let's see what Ori has, too. Oh, maneuver. Wish? Wish is hilarious. Feel no pain, number two. Get in here. Backflip's good. Three random skills that cost zero. Also, sure. What does the damage to the heart mean? Yeah, it's your score. It's your score at that moment is the damage that you deal to the heart. Exactly correct. Okay, life's good. We're gonna crush these nerds. Eight more plated armor. Let's go. Gremlin Nom. Thanks for six months. Killing the heart on V Day. Let's do it. Body slam, though. Let's freaking go. Not my focus. Kunai, because we didn't have enough dexterity already. Do I have any retain at all? I don't, right? So establishment does nothing. How does Juggernaut work if we're at 999 block? Attempting to gain block will still trigger Juggernaut, even if we can't actually gain any real block, which is very nice. Very convenient. gone. That's fine, that's fine. It's a wee bit spooky. Pretty much tempted to double Juggernaut here. You know what? Let's do it. I want maximum damage. Delivered into this fool. Play barricade. That's a requirement. Huge return damage. Hmm, terrible. Second wind is good, exhume is good. Oh, there goes body slam. Rip body slam. I'm just playing everything. Yeah, 
Oh no, anyway. a lot of block. Simply beautiful kill you with flame barrier damage, so that's what I'm going to do. You can die to flame barrier. GG! GG, Twitch chat. Streak is back at one. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next, and don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.